Last week I talked about Takeru, the K1 superstar, and how I would like to see a potential matchup between him and Tenshin Nasukawa. Well today, I'm going to dive in and discuss the young line of kickboxing, Tenshin Nasukawa. Before we get into it, if you like this video, please leave us a comment, like, or subscribe. You can also help us out by subscribing to our Patreon. It keeps the lights on and the videos coming. So let's get into it. Tenshin Nasukawa has been a Japanese superstar since he was a legal adult, and at the current age of 21, he's become the biggest commodity in Japanese kickboxing. To start, Tenshin is very much the opposite of the hard-charging Takeru. I would describe Tenshin as an explosive sharpshooter in comparison to the drowning waves of Takeru. What Tenshin excels at is mid-range kickboxing fights where he can bait his opponent into making errors and capitalizing on it. As a southpaw, Tenshin has a deep understanding of how to make use of the T formation. Let me explain. In a southpaw versus conventional matchup, fighters fight in the open guard, meaning body kicks and rear hand strikes are easier to land. This also means that fighters will often jockey for foot position in order to step in and land their rear hand. What makes Tenshin different from other southpaws is that he will step in between his opponent's feet and create a T formation. This helps facilitates his lightning fast jab and body punches. Being able to burst into fast jabs and body punches also gives way to his power punching, where unlike Takeru, Tenshin emphasizes clean hooks and textbook straight punches. However, because he places all his power into his punches, he will often stop at 2 or 4 punches to preserve his gas tank. Hence why Tenshin spends so much of his time on the edge of kicking range and employing dozens of feints to keep his opponent second guessing. If his opponents hang out in kicking range, Tenshin will throw lightning fast body kicks and jabs to frustrate them. If his opponents rush in, he'll backstep and throw a counter left straight, which is often the hurting punch. If Tenshin's opponents play defensively, it only gives him more time to think up of a creative way to break the guard. But that is what makes fighting Tenshin so difficult. If you try to play the range kicking game with him, he'll react faster to openings and snipe you out. If you attempt to rush him down, he'll just punish you with counters. However, the biggest problem in Tenshin's game is in fact his dedication to precision power striking. Unlike Takeru, who keeps throwing the same combinations regardless of the outcome, Tenshin's ability to delay offense and snipe with counters relies on a snowball of variables. Against Rod Tang, Tenshin's biggest flaws came out in full display. He was able to land freely in opening couple of rounds as Rod Tang could only march forward and Tenshin's incredible speed and accuracy could chop him down. When Rod Tang would kick, Tenshin would grab his leg or spring into a counter. When Rod Tang got frustrated and ran at him, Tenshin could easily pivot out, move his head, and counter in combination. But all of that is because Tenshin fights on a hair trigger. He is in constant go mode, which is taxing mentally and physically. Therefore, after two rounds, Tenshin looked deflated and Rod Tag could take over. It didn't help that Tenshin loves getting into long exchanges, even when he knows he shouldn't. Rod Tang would take Tenshin into losing exchanges, precisely because Tenshin would explode into every punch and gas himself out. Eventually the exchanges went from losing, to even, and finally to one-sided as Rod Tang would take a couple of exhausted punches in order to flurry on the tired tension. Rod Tang would lose a controversial decision and the referee job was what one would call suspicious, but I'll let you decide that yourself. What I'm trying to get at is, is that tension has not matured enough as a fighter to vary the power on strikes in order to sustain his explosive punches. It's no surprise given that most of his wins have come by knockout and a majority of fighters have simply given Tenshin the space and time to recover his cardio. By setting himself up like a one-shot kill machine, it's daunting to step in and take punishment in order to tire him out. Many fighters also don't have the chin or the defense to work Tenshin down, but Rod Tang was able to show that body punching and constantly getting into Tenshin's face can seriously affect the young superstar. When the day comes that Takeru fights Tenshin, I'll most likely have a deep analysis for that matchup. But for now, Tenshin is still a diamond in the rough. His style relies excessively on athleticism and ability to finish the fight early. If he doesn't just outright nuke his opponent in passivity or onset CTE, he'll melt under the pressure of his collapsing lung. But until we see the two Japanese kings fight, for now this has been a study of Tenshin Nasukawa. 
the young lion of Japanese kickboxing.